This is so different. Like, this is so different. And I'm recording off this iPad. So, this is really different. I'm not used to this. I am used to my camera. <sighs> okay. This is so, <laughs> this is so, oh my God, I don't really know how to work this, but we're going to make this work. We just going to make this work. So, I'm going to use this foundation. This is what they look like. It's called, it's from Ordinary Cosmetics. This is what they look like. And they only like $7 and some odd change. And it's like a dupe for Mac Studio foundation so I'm going to use these for my foundations and I'm going to try to create a whole look using just this eyeshadow palette and this is what it looked like see no message okay so I did go ahead and do my brows with this uh, color pop brow pencil I just filled them in just a little bit and then the first thing I used was this mask that I got out of the boxy charm box and this is what it looked like it's like a primer mask so I use this, but my skin is still like extra, extra like I'm sweating because I got this <laughs> drink as always. But I'm going to use my Smashbox primer if I can find it. It's like real chaos right now. Let's see. Okay. And I'm going to use this LA Girl just to conceal my brows and I'm gonna use it as an eyeshadow base as well but let me use a primer first if I can find one Okay, I'm just going to use this uh, e.l.f. primer first. It is so broke. Look at this. <laughs> but I'm going to get all of the product out of here. I am not wasting no money. Like, I'm going to get this product out of here because I paid for it. And it's still a lot of product in it. But we use that all over my face. And I'm just going to be looking in this mirror, this the Tarte Pro Palette. This is what the Tarte Pro Palette looks like. It's so pretty. That's what the Tarte Pro Palette looks like. So, I'm going to be looking in here so I can see what I'm doing. But I am going to try to use, do a whole look using these eyeshadows. But I'm not sure because I do have these ColourPop eyeshadows as well. And... I almost have a whole palette worth, and these what these look like. So, which one do you think I should use? Should I use these ColourPop eyeshadows, or should I use the Julia's Place palette? Comment and let me know which one. This is how they look. 
So which one should I use? You want to see a look using these, which is the ColourPop Single Eyeshadow, which are bomb. They are very pigmented. This is what they look like. And then these are the Juvia's Place palettes. So which one? Okay, the ColourPop, this is what they look like. They are so pigmented, and they're like worth, they're worth every penny of them. And these are the shades that I picked up. So, let's get on with this. I got so many brushes like if I show y'all this this is a shame like this makes no sense there's so much makeup up here and I never could find anything because everything is like in drawers and pushed back and I never could find nothing when I'm looking for it it's a mess okay I'm just gonna use this flat top brush and I'm gonna use the LA Girl Concealer to like conceal my brows as well as uh, conceal my lids. So when if you do this, if you use concealer to conceal your your eyebrows as well as your lids, there's no need for an eyeshadow primer. And I actually prefer this better because I feel like the shadows show up better on your lids when you use concealer. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to just use my Sasha Buttercup Powder to set my lids when I finish. And I got hooded eyelids, so when I put this concealer down, I'm going to have to, like, really set it real fast because it'll start creasing. And then it start looking a hot mess. And the shade that I'm using in the LA Girl is Toffee because Toffee is, like, my skin tone. I don't want a concealer that's, like, two shades lighter because then you start having that white halo under your eyebrow. And I don't like that. It's just not for me. But let me tell y'all about this story time real quick. I guess I can share that with y'all now that it's over. So, this is my engagement ring, right? <laughs> I have it now. And if you watch any of my past videos, you never seen my engagement. My, none of my, you never seen the engagement ring on my finger. And I'm going to tell you right. So, I got engaged last year, and when my fiancé proposed to me, I had the ring on and everything, and I was wearing it to work, and I work with seniors. I'm like a CNA, you can say. So, one day I went to work or whatever, and I had to put the gloves on my hand because I, you know, you got to protect yourself. So I had the latex gloves on. And my ring, first off, it was too big for once. And then for two, it was like poking through the glove. So I had to take the ring off and put it in my scrub pocket. So I'm getting ready to leave work or whatever. And I was going in my scrub pockets to get the, uh, the ring out. And when I did that, it popped out my hand and popped somewhere in the house. And still to this day, I still can't find it. So, I was like crying and like depressed about it. My fiance was upset because that ring cost a lot of money. And all that, like I was so, I was like so distraught about that. And I was like crying and everything. I, I was like that for like... A whole month. <laughs> like, I didn't even want to go home that day. Because it was like, how do I go home and tell him, like, that this, this ring is gone? Like, it's gone. And I couldn't find it anywhere. I stayed at work. 
And I looked, I looked, I could not find it. And still to this day, I still cannot find it. And he just, he get, he just bought a new ring. So I'm happy about that. But I still want to know where that ring at. So that was a little story time. I was real upset about that. So y'all see how this powder is sitting on my eyes. I'm just going to blend all this powder out. Just like this. I'll just go blend it out after I conceal my brows. I'm not the biggest fan of brows. So, I really don't know how to do no brows. But I do the best that I can. And then plus I had got, got them waxed. So, it's easier. So, what we're going to do is. It's this, this orange shade right here. I'm going to use that as a no no I'm not first I'm going to use this out of this palette this is like the perfect transition color for women of color it's this brown shade right here in your in the uh, Tarte Pro palette so I'm just going to use that just to warm up my crease on both sides So all I was doing was just warming up the crease area before I applied this bright, bright color. Because this color is like a little bit brighter. And it's gonna I'm gonna go with this color. Not sure what type of look I'm gonna use. Yeah, I definitely will do a cut crease next week. I definitely will. And maybe in this look, I'll kind of cut the crease a little bit because I'm gonna use this bright shade in um in my crease area and then maybe i'll just cut it to get it a little sharper look but i most definitely could do a cut crease look and i have a let me show y'all this let me find it maybe i could do a cut crease uh, look using this i got this last week and this is the uh the Zulu palette by um, Juvia's Place. I love Juvia's Place eyeshadows. But this is what this looks like. So I could do a cut crease using this. This palette. This palette is so pretty. They eyeshadows are so bomb. Like I love Juvia's Place palettes. But anyway, let's go back to this look. So I'm just going to take this orange shade and put it in my crease. I love Juvia's Place palettes now. It's still a little controversial, like, is they black-owned or not? I don't know if they black-owned or not, but I do know that they have some uh, bomb eyeshadow palettes. They are very, very, very pigmented and very affordable. So I just took that orange in my crease. Let me see if I can can it dim that light a little bit. Yeah, that's better. I'm just gonna I just took that in my crease. Now I'm gonna take it's a purple shadow in here. I'm gonna take this uh darker purple and like deepen the crease to intensify the look. So I'm gonna go into this deep purple and put that inside my crease. And I'm gonna make this look simple. I'm not gonna do like nothing complicated. Like, this is gonna be real simple. See, so that's how that's looking right now. 
So since I'll be doing a cut crease look next week, I'm just going to put that purple in there. And then for the lid color, we can do like a, I'm thinking this shade here, right here. It's called, let me see. It's called too much. It's called too much. So I'm gonna use that on the lid. It's like this shimmery. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's like purple, but it got like these reflexes of gold in it. So that's what I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna try out these mink lashes that I picked up from uh Walgreens. These are the Kiss Couture lashes. They supposed to be mink lashes. We shall see. I'm going to try these today, too. So, I'm just going to take one of these flat brushes, and I'm going to spray the brush. Yeah, I'm going to use this brush and then just put that. And then the thing about when you're doing uh, doing your eyeshadow and then you're putting, you see how I did this crease color. Now, as you can see, I took up a lot of my, my creases here. So when I put my other eyeshadow on, I'm going to overlap that so it'll make it like a clean look. Hi. And I'm sorry, because I was kind of rude. Hey to everybody that came in to view the live. I was just talking. Hi to everybody that viewed the live. So I'm going to take this shade, and when I take it, I'm going to take it up, up under my crease, and it's going to overlap, overlap the other eyeshadow. And that's how you get your cut crease looks as well. Because if you're doing a cut crease, you're just going to take your concealer and go directly up under up under your crease and mute it out and that's how you do your cut crease and it makes it a sharper it makes it cleaner looking so I'm just gonna use this uh, elf spray and spray my brush and then I'm gonna just overlap that shadow oh this shade is so freaking pretty look at that I'm just going to overlap this. For some reason, now I don't know if it's just me or not, but with ColourPop eyeshadow, when you wet your brush, it kind of make the eyeshadow like wet, and they don't work too well when you do that, and I shouldn't have did that, but I'm going to just pack it on. And see, I just over I overlap the shadow. And that's how they look. But I think I'm going to take this other shadow. It's like a, um, it's another purple. It's an iridescent shade. And I'm just going to pack some of that on there too. You know, like the inner corner. And I'm just popping the iridescent shade right here, like in a corner, in a corner, like right here. Like that. And now I wish I had used some gold. I think the gold would have looked it better, but whatever. Maybe I just popped some gold on top of it.
ColourPop eyeshadows are so bomb, though. Like, I, I'm not a fan of their jar shadows. I'm not a fan of those at all. Like, they are the most hardest shades to blend. But these single shadows that they came out with are so bomb. I really, really do like these shadows. Way better than that other formula. I don't like that. You know, I'm just going to put a little gold in the middle just to kind of make it pop. Yeah, that's better. I just put a gold over top of that, uh, that dark purple because it's like the reflexes. Can't really see it. See? So I just put the, the gold on top of it like that like that and that's pretty much what I'm gonna do with the eyes cuz I want y'all to see this also because when I found them I was in a makeup group and I think the makeup group is called uh, women of color make makeup for women of color or something like this somebody posted up about these so I bought them because they were only like $7.50. And I'm like, foundation for $7.50. You know, that's a steal. That's a good deal. So I tried them. And I, these are a dupe for the MAC Studio Finish Foundation. MAC was my first foundation that I ever bought. And it gave me this flawless, flawless, flawless application. I love MAC. These are like a dupe. A cheaper version. But I do find that. This shade, which is 3.1 wide, this is too orange for me, and this is too red for me. You can do, um, for a blue lip, you could do a smoky eye, a black smoky eye. You can do purple, purple and blue mesh wells together, too, depending on how deep your purple is if you have like a plum a deep deep like a deep purple like this because it's so dark you could pull it off but i would say like a dark i would say like a dark smoky eye or a neutral eye because if your lips are bold then you don't want to focus on your eyes like you want your eyes to be like very very neutral because you want the the lippy to pop out but i'm gonna use these for my foundation and I do get a foundation routine and this hair that um I've been getting so many com many comments about this hair and I ain't going this video is not about this hair but I've been getting so many questions about this hair and this is raw Cambodian hair this is some raw Cambodian hair and I did make this wig I make all of my wigs this is a frontal this is a frontal wig. That's why you keep seeing me adjust it. But this is a frontal wig and it is raw Cambodian hair. So, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do too much more to the eyes. I may do a little black eyeliner, but I'm not going to do a wing. I will smoke it out at the bottom, but my face, <laughs> when I get done with it, is gonna, everything going to tie in together. And I'm thinking this lippy that I'm going to use is this I don't know if anybody ever picked this up but this liner is by Colourpop and this is Rooch the Karuchi line but it's in a lip liner this is so bomb like they I've been loving me some Colourpop I'm a true makeup addicted to makeup but let's do foundation this foundation is uh it's called the ordinary the company is the ordinary colors yeah the ordinary colors but i do have a post on my instagram page if you're following me on instagram i do have a 
a post on my Instagram page where I did tag the company. So you can just look on that post and get the company from there. But I think they're still sold out because there's so many orders. Like, people really went ham on Bandit's Foundation. Like, they went ham on Bandit's Foundation. I tried to go back and buy more, and I couldn't because it was, like, so out, and they're so backed up that they're not taking any more orders. So, I think I'm going to use... Um... Trying to see if I'm going to use a beauty blender or um, kabuki brush. Let's see. I think I'm going to use this brush. This e.l.f. foundation brush. And I'm going to just do two pumps of this. You see how yellow it is? And I'm going to do one pump of this and i'm gonna show you how that looks you see how dark that is so i have to mix it and when i put it on it's not gonna look like my skin tone but once it oxidizes down and everything it will work fine see this is what it looks like now it's still it's not it's like it's matte so it hasn't oxidized down or anything but once it oxidizes down it's a flawless finish i actually i really love this foundation and i really want to get some more of this because the color as you can see i have like a uh my undertones are neutral so I always go for warm shades and this is too like too yellow for me like I need a little bit more red in it so that's what I don't like about this foundation but like I said when everything is done and I have highlighted and contoured I'll let it all will work out So that's that. I'm going to wipe the rest of this foundation off with my hand. And what I'm going to use to, um, what am I going to use to contour is LA Girl. The, um, Pro Concealer and this is in Fawn. I'm going to use LA Girl Fawn to highlight. And I, I, me personally, I think this found this concealer works better if you like put it on something like a whatever you got. But I don't like to wipe it up under my eye. I like to use like a brush to wipe it up under and then blend it out. So I'm just gonna use this brush and just put it on. Let me use this eyeshadow. that's what I do I just paint it on like so 
and get it up out of my eye and I take it up I take it up so now I'm just gonna take a, a beauty blender and blend it out I'm gonna spray this beauty blender and just blend it out Kenyatta, is you still in here? Now I'm just going to take the Sasha Buttercup and, and set it. But first I'm going to just take that same brush and blend them demarcation. See? Now it's gone. And that's all you do with that's how you blend your contour out so that you can't see that line of demarcation you just take your same foundation brush and watch see and now it's gone now it just look like you didn't put no <laughs> no highlight on don't look like you did anything and you do the same thing to your head now it's gone there's no line of demarcation the same thing for your nose and your chin and now it don't look like you did none of that now I'm just gonna take it and set my uh, under eye and I just found I'm gonna use these little small real technique brushes and set No, I don't eat Chinese food. You sure? I'm pot. Ask him, and I'm gonna tell he no, I don't eat Chinese food. Now, why they gonna ask me? Do I eat Chinese food? We've been together for seven years, well, eight years now. He know I don't eat no Chinese food. <laughs> Now that's how it look. Now I could have reverse contour, but I ain't about that life. <laughs> I'm just gonna take my Mac Studio powder, my fave. You see, I have hit pan. This is how much I love this. I need to go get some more. I didn't hit pan. What do you use to uh, contour with? <laughs> See, I thought it was just me. See, me and you here, we here. <laughs> we know not to eat that. I don't know, I don't eat that. I don't know what's up in that. Y'all are not talking to me. Why no one is leaving comments? I want to know y'all feedback. But I'm just going to take this um, MAC powder and blend out this highlight. And all I do is swirl it and... <laughs> all I do is swirl it and blend it out. Because Sasha Buttercup is very yellow. And it will leave just like this bad flashback. And I ain't about that life. I am not about that uh, flashback life. I don't want to be looking like no ghost. So, that's all I do.
you don't have to and you don't have to use mac powder i use mac powder because mac powder just works for my skin you don't have to use mac powder you can use whatever powder that works for you but this is what worked for me i love mac powder i haven't found the um powder to replace it yet and then for contour i'm gonna one second let me find my contour palette i'm gonna show y'all two options to contour with. So, this is one option. I use this sometimes, which is, um, this is the, uh, Black Radiance Contour Palette. You can use this, which is that deeper shade. And then I'm going to show you another one that I absolutely love as well. If I can find it. I got so much makeup that I never could find anything. It makes no sense. Okay. And then the second option is this Sleek Cosmetics palette. And I love, when I tell you I love this, this is bae. This is what it looked like. And this highlight, this is bae. Like, this is bae. When I tell you this is bae, I'm going to show you. I'm going to use this. They both are like neck and neck, but... I just like the way this blend out, but this blends out just as good, too. So, it's just, you know, it don't matter. See? And they are both, like, neck and neck. So, but I just prefer this one. And I bought this off of Amazon, and a company is Sleek Cosmetics. They also have blushes, and this is one of the blush palettes that I have. And I got this from Amazon as well. This orange is so bomb on women of color. Like, so bomb. And this is from Sleek Cosmetics. So, when I contour, I like to use, uh, I don't even see the brush. So, I don't see the brush. I'm going to have to use something else. It was like a brush that came with the contour palette. And it was like this flat brush. I don't even see it. Oh, here it is. This came with the Black Radiance Kit. This is what it looked like. And that came with the Black Radiance Kit. But I'm just going to use it with this sleek kit. And I'm going to show you exactly what I do. And this is all I do. See? Same thing to this side. And of course, you're going to carry it around your hairline. Let me use the big mirror. And then to do your contour, your nose contour, what I find is you can use a smaller brush like this something that's like real detailed and it gives you a more precise line Mm, look now don't worry about none of your highlight looking like this because that's where your foundation brush or your powder brush is gonna come in handy you can use your powder brush and just blend it right out it's gonna blend right out And you can just use your finger. It's just makeup. It'll blend. I think I put too much contour on this side. Now your highlight and the 
is your contour. It's really, really easy. I promise you, it's the easiest thing in life. So, uh, I wanted to use this Artist Couture Powder that I got from my Etsy for my highlight. But I'm scared because uh, it looks a little light. So, I'm just going to use... I'm going to use two highlighters. One is going to be... First, I'm going to do... Let's do blush. I normally don't wear blush, but I'll do it. I'll take that orange so I can show you how pigmented this uh, blush is. So, just put a little dab a little of it. See, and this is how that, that orange looks. That's how that orange looks. So now we're going to take... Um, let me finish off the eyes. And then we'll take... Uh, Rodeo Drive is the highlighter. It's by Ofra Cosmetics. Let me show you how it looks. This has been bad lately. Like, I love this highlighter. It's like so pretty on women of color. Look at that. Look at that highlighter. Like, if you want everybody to see you, you want that glow, this is going to give you that glow. Like, this is going to give you that glow from within. I love this highlighter. But we're going to finish the eyes off. I'm going to use this uh mascara for my lashes before i put on my falsies but i'm gonna do my bottom lashes do the bottom eyeshadow first and then put the lashes on so i'm just gonna smudge uh i'm gonna take this brush here and now i'm gonna use this purple here as well as uh that pink The contour palette, the contour palette is in, yeah, it, the contour palette is in medium dark. And this contour kit is in dark. The one from Sleek Cosmetic is in dark. And the one from uh, Black Radiance is in medium dark. So I'm just going to smudge this up under the eye. See, so I just smudged that up under the eye. I just smudged it under the eye. And now I'm going to... Now, I'm not going to be able to apply these falsies with, with y'all because I need to concentrate. I hate, I cannot, eyelashes take, like, we, I fight with eyelashes every time I put them on. It's, like, not the best thing to try to apply. Okay. Let me move a little stuff around. So, I'm going to do these lashes. And this the glue that I bought. I'm going to try this glue. Because for some reason, I have tried so many different lash glues. And I know everybody want to be that, that person. They be like, you shouldn't use no bonded glue on your lashes. But, look, that's what worked for me. Like, that's what stuck my lashes down. And then I had some glue. And now this company starts. It was like star glue, star look or something like that. It stuck, but it dried out. So, I haven't been able to find a good 
eyelash adhesive. So I'm going to give this Kiss Lash Glue a try and see how that works. Have anybody tried the, um, the, uh, Wet n Wild Foundation? If you did, do you like it? These, how they look. Wait, let me take them out of the container. This is what they look like. So they are so pretty. They are really, really pretty. So first, I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this um, Big Shot Mascara. Y'all see my baby in the background? <laughs> That was my birthday hair. That was the hair from, uh, what company is that? Long Key. Why I feel the same way. I feel the same way about the foundation. I have it, and I did do a review. I recorded it, but I can't edit any videos right now because of the computer. Because my computer is dead. It's gone. It's not working anymore. But someone did give us a MacBook, a Mac, an iMac. So we're going to take that to the um, computer store and get that fixed. And that Wet n Wild foundation, it smelled like paint. That rubbed me all the wrong way because I was I was mad because I was applying it to my face and then all of a sudden I'm smelling this the wrong paint smell and I'm like, oh my god, why do this smell like that? Like that me and that me and I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. I didn't like that. It smelled like paint. And then it wasn't a good match. Like, I have one. Here they are right here. These are the two that I had. So, it gave okay coverage. It did give okay coverage, but I just couldn't get over the, the fact that it smelled like paint. Oh, I'm gonna try to apply these 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 lashes and let y'all see what they look like. The band is like really extra thick though. Let me let y'all see. Look. Like it's like extra thick. That I don't like. I don't like thick bands. Ooh. I don't like this. Because I got these lashes from... From AliExpress. And they look like this. And the band is nowhere thick like these lashes. Like, And these were $1.48 for a whole six pair. From Ali... No, not AliExpress. I'm lying. This was from eBay. And the, look at... Look at that. Like, I don't like this band on these lashes. But I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try it out. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna say nothing to. I put it on and see. And then they so stale. Like, oh my gosh. Yes, do you like them? Because I love them. Like, I'm going back and get like 10 more packs. Because I like them that much. I 
find out one thing the weather yes for two dollars those lashes are bomb yes this weather in chicago been so sucky it's been humid and raining that's like humid and raining one minute it's hot then the next minute it's cold then we back to humid rainy weather Oh my gosh, I don't like these lashes. I don't like these. Oh my god, the band is like so thick. Oh. I feel like I wasted my four dollars and something I said. Like, let me try to cut it a little bit. I don't like these. I don't like these. <laughs> you see that like oh my gosh I don't like this and then it won't stick <sighs> no we can't do those I'm sorry I got to put these on I can't do it I can't do it and then I'm going to show you like this lash band look how look how there is no thick band like that band was so thick i don't like that and see with these i know i have to cut like a little bit of the lash off just a little bit yeah i'm gonna try this adhesive again i don't know if it was a hit adhesive or the lashes but it wasn't working So, how is everybody day going so far? Yes, look at that. Yes. Yes, because when Friday come, I'll be like, no work. Saturday and Sunday, I'll be like waiting on Friday to come and be like, come on Friday. Come on. And then we had a taste of Chicago. We got the taste of Chicago here this weekend. I don't think I want to be positive though, because since the mirror, like it used to be lit. The taste of Chicago used to be lit, but now they done made all these different changes, and they got. Nobody have time for that. Nobody have time for that. But I kind of want to go, but it's so bad here in Chicago. I don't want to go and they start acting a damn fool and start shooting. Like, 
Mm -mm, I ain't about that life. So, we shall see. We shall see. We shall see what to the weekend brings. But I am excited. I will try now. I'm not going to make no promises about this, but I am excited. I will be getting married next month. I want to go too, but people be acting crazy out here. And I don't got time. It's always innocent ones that get hurt, and I don't got time. Just popping off, no. This last show wanna go off. It's only always one eye. It's always that one eye. I'm still trying to figure out. Um, I have a best friend that's a makeup artist, and I'm still trying to figure out because we're not having like no big wedding or anything. We're just going to the justice of peace and making it official. Like we've been together for eight years, so it's like I don't want no big wedding because my family and everybody don't get along, and we just don't really got time for all that. I don't like drama. I'm like in my own little world like I'm just like do me I don't like drama I hate drama like I don't like that I just don't like my stress levels to be up I like peace I just like peace peace of mind like low-key vibes I like just like that and I know that I just you know we've been together for eight years now so we just going to just a piece to get it done but I'm not sure if I want my best friend to do my makeup one of my best friends i can't say my best friend best friend but one of them I'm not sure if i want her to do my makeup or not this lash really is giving me a hard time though it really is giving me a hard time This lash really don't want to go on my eye. <laughs> oh my god, I hate when my lashes do that. But I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm still trying to get figured out because I will be having surgery next month. Sometime in next month. So, yeah, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. There's a lot of changes going and then I got a lot of stuff that that I got up my sleeve. I don't want to talk about it just yet, but some of, uh, um, I think a couple of y'all in here that we, it's like a group of, uh, it's a group of women. We all have YouTube channels and that's how we met each other, but we talk to each other like on a daily basis. Like when we first, first had our group, we would talk to each other every, every day. Like those are my booze. Like we here. So they know, like, uh, you know, they, they probably know. But I got a lot of stuff up my sleeve that I'm trying to get off the ground and trying to do. So, uh, I just got a lot going on. I don't want to speak on it right now, but I will speak on it very, very soon. She 
I swear I hate putting on lashes. Lashes take me the longest time to do. Like, I hate putting on lashes. I hate it, hate it, hate it. Okay, so, now that I got these lashes on, um, I'm going to spray my face first, and then I'm going to put on, put on uh, my highlighter. And I'm just going to use this e.l.f. Um, luminizing spray. And this don't do nothing but like melt your makeup together. That's it. Just melt it down together. Let me find something to thin myself with. It will be an awesome book with it. <laughs> Had and you already been seen. <laughs> Y'all ain't seen nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So now, see, it just melted everything in. Let me see if I can pick this up for a second. See? It just melts everything in. That's all it do. And then we're going to do this highlighter. We're going to do this highlight. Let's get a small ankle brush. Let me use this. And I'm going to do two highlighters. I'm going to use this highlighter. This one. From the Sleek Cosmetic Palette first. And it's just like a golden tone. real subtle but watch when I put this awful cosmetics on it's gonna be like bam <laughs> you see me you see me <laughs> and you like really got the dab like dab just a little bit like you can't go overboard with this because you would be looking like the tin man like literally dab Then I'm gonna just take my finger and go down my nose. Ooh. See what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? I put just a second. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, you can't put a lot of that because now I gotta use my face powder to kind of tone that down because that highlight just was like bam I'm right here I'm like right here I'm right here I fixed it I don't I don't um bronze if I bronze if I bronze, I won't, um, if I bronze, 
I ain't even gonna say we not gonna use the word bronze because I feel like bronzing and contour is the same thing. You still using a darker powder to go around your face, whether it be to sink in your cheekbones or what. But look at that highlight. Oh, come through highlight. Do y'all see that? You see that glow? Like, yes, come through highlight. But I don't do all that, like, it's either or, like, either I'm going to contour with, and you know what, if I would, I don't know about to see it. Let me see if I can find it real fast. People think, let me show you. People will say bronze because they use this, and this is like a reddish tone with a reddish tone powder but it still could do the same thing that your contour can that a darker powder can do they all do the same thing which is sink in your cheeks and you just suck in your cheeks like that and you just literally go down there and you do the same thing and go where your where your face cave in that's where you contour and then with your your face, you want to go here. You want to start at your brow point here and bring the powder down your nose like so. And then down your nose, coming like that. And then just blend it out. And then some people take it around their hairline, which I put a little, but not a lot. And then I'm just going to put this in the inner tear ducts. I'm going to use this same powder in the inner tear ducts. And Cheris, you saying you you right here in Chicago. Like you right here in Chicago with me. Like we got to link up. We have to link up. And I just added that in the inner corners. And that make this make any any eyeshadow pop. Any type of look, whether it's bold or neutral, it makes it pop. And then I'm just gonna take this same highlighting powder and put it under my brow. See, that's it. That is it, you guys. Now, we're going to do these lips, though. Oh. I'm not even sure what I want to use for the lip. In fact, I'm gonna use this Ofra, Ofra Cosmetics uh, lippy, and I'm gonna line my lips with this ColourPop, and then put this on. Mm -mm.
because I got big lips, I got the overline. I mean, not overline, but fill them in more. And then I'm going to put this in the center. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. That's really pretty. That's so pretty. That's so pretty, look. So that is all that I do to my face. That's it. Like, that's it. And then, of course, got just my hair. Let me see if I got this one. Thank you. And that's it. Like, that's why I was saying, like, let me unplug this for a second. It's on the charger. Let's see. See? And that's the look. And that's why I say, like, it's so easy. I promise you all, like, it's so easy. And when my computer, when we figure out this computer issue, I'm going to do, like, beginner um, makeup tutorials. Like, I'm going to just do beginner makeup tutorials because it truly don't matter. Like, as I say, women of colors, like, you can use, matter of fact, one second, you guys. Let me try to take this out. Okay. Okay, it won't let me do that. Okay. Like, women of color, we can use as your transition color anything that's orange or like that brownie, that like that orangey color. That's your transition shade. And then after your transition shade, you always want to go inside your crease area with the darker color, whether it be a dark brown. Uh, I try to stay away from black because black is kind of hard to uh, blend out. But anything that's like a... I usually try to do like dark purples, uh, dark browns, like those type of shades. And you can do like a... You can buy you a Morphe eyeshadow palette, like the 35O. And you can do all those looks with that one palette. Like you don't need a lot of palettes and you don't need to spend... A whole lot of money on makeup. It's just that uh, <laughs> I'm an addict now. Now, why my comments just not coming up? Really? Yes, I most definitely would do like a uh, beginner uh, makeup tutorials. I most definitely would do that. I'm trying to find the right lighting because this light blinding. Oh, and I'm not going anywhere. I just did this look for y'all because I know my computer is, like, out of commission. And I don't want to be just MIA and everybody like, okay, where she go? Where she at? So, I was like, I'll just, from now on, every Friday, uh, at the round, around the same time that I came on live, I'll just keep continuing to come live until my computer problems are fixed. And maybe I'll do it twice a week. Or maybe just once a week. But I'll just come live and do different makeup looks. So next Friday we'll do a cut crease look. We'll try to do something like a bold color. Like I said, I'll probably use one of the Juvia's Place eyeshadow palettes. But yeah, it's like so simple. I promise you, like all I do is you want your crease color to be an orange color. And then you want your 
you want your transition color to be like an orange color or your skin tone like a neutral brown that's your skin tone and then you want to go in with like a deep color like a deep rich brown a deep purple and then your lid color whatever you want your lid color to be and that's boom that's it that's it so anybody got any questions for me any questions your shading what you mean your shading your eyeshadow i was looking for you <laughs> i was looking for you oh you talking about your foundation shades <laughs> wait why but why? Was it your foundation shade that was off? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> no, no. But like I say, like, that's why I say, I think, I think, um, people get confused or like, don't start never use black or like these dark colors that blend horribly because even even now yeah that's definitely <laughs> that's what i'm saying like don't do no dark colors because even me if i put a black on my eye it takes a lot like you had to put product on product to blend blend that black out like any dark colors like i say stick to stick to like you see how i did the orange shade like you can see it you do your orange shade and i pop the purple in the crease but then you still want to blend those colors in like you can't just put that color and then be like boom i'm gonna go to the next color you still got to take that same brush and blend them together so that they all blend together so you gotta just keep blending. It may take you a little while. Your hand may start hurting. But you gotta keep blending. <laughs> like you just gotta keep blending and blend till your arm about to fall off. Like your arm gets tired and it gets a hold like this. You look and then you blend some more. <laughs> yeah, Michelle, do a brown color. Do a brown color for you. I understand. Do do a um a brown color, like ColourPop had one. Um, let me show you. Like this brown shade, Michelle. You see that brown shade? Do a brown like that. Like your brown color is your best transition color. And then that's the thing about it. Like, even if you put a, another, even try that brown shade. And even, even if you use a dark shade, still use that brown. And when you go back into your eyeshadow, just blend that next shade out with that brown. So that it blends in. And y'all tell me why. <laughs> you know what what i found out with the foundation because sometimes mine still look look a little look like that like it look a little off and i can tell that it's off but you got to figure out what foundation works well with every, with what Every foundation don't work well with the blend, beauty blender. You can't blend every foundation out with your beauty blender. Sometimes you got to take your buffing brush and go in. Because some foundations just don't work well with that beauty blender. And you just have to figure out what foundation works well with what brush. And then with the brushes, you can just, like, circle of motions help to blend it in. Yeah, real techniques do. Yeah. 
or you can use two. Say you don't wanna. Say you don't wanna do all that. Say you just don't wanna do all that. You can take your transition color and put it all the way on your lid, all the way up to here. And then you just take your lid color and put it down, and boom, you done. You ain't got to do all that going and deepening your crease and all that. You ain't got to do all that. You just put your two shades down and be done. Put your neutral color, your, your transition color is always your skin tone. Your skin tone, or... If you like my complexion, orange, like an orangey color is always your best transition color. So you want to, and you, you can even use your face powder. Because I have used my MAC face powder a lot of time. Yeah, you can use your, you can use your um MAC face powder. If you have MAC powder, you can use that as your transition color. And it works wonderful. And you can just do... Bam, I'm just going to do this transition, and then I'm going to just pop this on my lid. Yeah, the sponges too. Like, it do make a difference because I have bought some sponges from uh, some cheaper sponges, and they didn't work so well. They was, like, kind of hard and tough, so I couldn't use those. And um, you ain't got to spend a lot of money on no brushes. Like, I bought, um, let me show you some of these. Um... I got a lot of brushes from eBay. Uh, if I could find some of them. Uh, I had a whole set of these, and it was like 10, it was 10 pieces. They came with eyeshadow brushes as well as these. And these brushes, these are the best for blending out foundation brushes because of how flat top they are these are the best for blending out foundation brushes and when you use it you just stippling it in like that you just stipple it in your skin like that you don't want to really go like that but you just want to stipple it in like that all over your face and then once you get it all over then you can take it and go in circular motion but these brushes was like five dollars for ten pieces so he has spent a lot of money on no brushes because i sure don't all my brushes came from uh bh cosmetics elf um real techniques yeah amazon as well amazon and uh even Shop Miss A, I have bought like 20 pieces of brushes from Shop Miss A. They have good brushes as well. This is one of the Shop Miss A brushes. This fan brush I love. So Shop Miss A got affordable brushes as well. You don't have to spend a lot of money. So anybody else got any more questions? I would show y'all. <laughs> some of this this mess <laughs> don't swirl it just stamp it just like stamp it like just stamp it just stamp it all on and then once you get it all on then you can just kind of buff it buff it in oh and then for my brows y'all ColourPop got bum um Colourpop have bomb. Colourpop got bomb eyebrow pencils. They look like this, and they about five bucks off a of Colourpop website. And these eyebrow pencils are bomb. When I tell you, these are bomb. They blend out really, really good. These are bomb though. And I have, uh, I bought the Tarte uh, brow eyebrow gel and i prefer my little five dollar eyebrow pencil over that tart and i paid a little little change for that no i'm not gonna have a bachelor party like <laughs> when i tell y'all i turned 31 years old this year and let me tell you in my 20s i did all the strip club and all that and <laughs> did all that and i don't i don't care for strippers anymore like that ain't my cup of tea i don't want you with your nasty sweaty body rolling all on me got you mm -mm. i did all that it's all out of my system i'm done with that <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm so done with that. <laughs> you ain't coming nowhere. <laughs> you is not coming nowhere. But no, I'm not going to have a bachelorette party. We just going to tie the knot. And I don't know. That's what I'm doing, Michelle. That's what I'm doing, Michelle. I'm definitely doing that. I'm not um not spending all these thousands of dollars because uh I'm I like <laughs> I don't want to say anything, but right now my mind is I'm in the midst of uh starting my own business, so that money can go on my business. I'm not gonna spend that on on uh on that. Oh, or maybe I'll go to the strip club with him. <laughs> we can go to the strip club together. <laughs> and see some girls twerking. Yeah, I do. I do that. And then because he had the battle ring a second time around, I feel really bad about that. Like. That was a lot of money going down the drain, and I felt real horrible. Do y'all see this lash just hanging on for dear life? Thank God I'm going to take this off my face because it was hanging on for dear life. But, yeah, I still feel bad about that, too. Like, that was, some, that was like, money going down the drain, and then I had to get another engagement ring because it was my fault that I lost it. No matter how it got lost, you know, it was still my fault and I felt pretty bad about that so no I don't want to spend all my money on no extravagant wedding and wedding gown and all that no it ain't for me I rather just we've been to, together eight years now so I don't need all that like we know each other I've been living with you since I've been living we've been living together since oh I'm going to say about seven years. About six to seven years. Because my son, our son is five years old now. So, yeah. <laughs> so, we don't need all that. <laughs> we don't need all that. Any more questions? We are. <laughs> we basically are, but I just told <laughs> I just say this. I ain't have no kid no more kids out of wear like, like <laughs> I ain't have no more I don't want no more kids though. Cause my five year old is a handful. I do but I don't. I do cause I want a girl. But I don't because I feel like if I have another child it's gonna be another boy and not a girl. And my heart gonna be like hurt. Y'all got any more questions for me? This is some... It's watered down now, but this was some Ciroc with um, some cran, cran grape juice. It's really good together. Michelle... Now, how am I going to do this makeup? I, do, I want to do a collection video. Yeah, I do. But it's ridiculous. Like, people going to be like, girl, you is a damn hoarder. <laughs> like, it makes no sense. And then I'm trying to... we we I want to move in a house. Like, we're in an apartment now. Now y'all know, look, don't try, don't come for me, look. At the whole week of, now, when I say this, I don't mean no harm to nobody, but I work with older people, like senior citizens, 90 plus, and I go through a lot that week. So when Friday come, I be like, baby, where is the drink? Because I need it. I need to calm my nerves from this week that I had. But I do want to do a makeup collection. <laughs> Can 
got it. You be right along with me. <laughs> Look, I'm going to drink to that. <laughs> but I've been thinking about that too. Like, I like to have a... <laughs> I've been thinking about that though. Like, now nah, after I had surgery, I ain't gonna be have be already had no drink for a while, and I'm gonna be looking crazy with the little shit face. But I guess I'm gonna have to just deal with it and be like, just sit there with the shit face and drink a protein drink or something. It's so watered down now though. King Yada, so did you get your uh your Juvia's Place palace yet? And I know you love it. I know you love it. I did. I did. I'm going to have to go back if they still up there. Good night, boo. Thank you for joining. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you tune in to the next live that I have next Friday. Good night. Good night, everybody. Hope to see y'all next Friday.